Hi, welcome back to Cedar Porch Homestead. I'm JR, and these eggs will be hatching tomorrow. So we're in the shop today to build a brooder that I procrastinated on. And if you've known anything about me, if you've seen any of our other videos, I typically don't build anything until, well, it's too late and I have to get to it. I've got today and tomorrow to get this thing done, but rather than just going to the store, whether than ordering a brooder, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some supplies that we have around the shop and we're gonna build a brooder that you are gonna to wanna to see because we are gonna include five things that you don't wanna forget when you're making your own brooder. So over the past 10 years, we've probably had maybe a dozen or more different brooders that we've used, we've had to build, and they've all served their purposes, they've worked fairly well, but what we are really trying to do now is educate those in our community. So we're having a lot of parents bringing their kids over, they're gonna to wanna to see these chicks. So I've got a couple ideas that we're gonna show you along the way of how we're going to make this a little bit more educational friendly. Uh, and I think it's gonna be really cool, but again, if you've seen any of our other videos, I get things up here and we don't know if they're gonna come out into fruition or not. So stick around and we're gonna find out together. To get this brooder up off the ground, I've got these metal table legs that we had for a project several years ago that they ended up not really looking good on the table. So I bet they're gonna look good on this brooder because that's what we're gonna use. So on top of the table legs, we're gonna use this three quarter inch piece of plywood because we need a solid base that's gonna hold everything kind of together. And also, it's what I had laying around the shop. It was used up on a couple projects. It's nice and scuffed up. And let's face it, all they're gonna do is poop on it. So it doesn't need to be nice. So that's happening this morning. I've got to get out in the shop and finish this brooder because these chicks are hatching right now. As you just saw inside, the chicks are hatching and the brooder isn't done. So not only do I have to get this thing finished for those guys today, we've got some people coming over this weekend to see everything we have going on here on our backyard homestead. And I kind of want this, not kind of, I really want this to be something that just catches them draws these kids in that really just wows them. So we're gonna go ahead and step up the difficulty notch a little bit and we're gonna get this thing really nice looking and we're gonna put a stain on it because, well, that's what I do. I make things way more difficult than they have to be and I enjoy it. So let's get to it.
Hey. What you doing? Perfect timing. Check this out. I'm putting the plexiglass in. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I got the. I think that one goes in first though. Um. What's up, babe? I found a little flaw. There, no. No flaws. <laughs> this thing's perfect. No, I really do. I love it. But I think that you forget that you're like a foot taller than I am. Do you see this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that I can Oops. get <laughs> I don't think that I can get the chicks or the water or the feed. Well, do, do, <laughs> do I need to, but I want to use these legs because I have them. Well, I know, and it, I understand, and it is perfect. Hold on. No, I got it. I got it. We're going to make you a step stool. And I'm going to say, it's going to have a, well, check this out. Check this out. It's going to have a, a label on it. Courtney Short. <laughs> what do you think? I mean... Kind of a running thing, isn't it? <laughs> See, this is why things in my head don't always work out the way they should. But we make it we make it work. Yeah. We make it work. Well, and this is cute. Like little kids are gonna be able to look right in here. I get it. But I gotta be able to get in there too. <laughs> I'm gonna build you a harness. You can just drop in like Mission Impossible. <laughs> Okay. All right. So uh, now I got a step stool to build today. <laughs> All right. Thanks for coming in, babe. Yeah. Have fun. <laughs> so let's talk about the first three things to consider when you're making your brooder. And the first one's going to be size. So our brooder is about eight square feet. And according to most literature you're going to read, they're going to say about half a square foot per chick for the first four weeks. So that means that we could only put about 16 chicks in this brooder. And I've had enough brooders in the past where I would feel very comfortable putting 20 to 25 baby chicks in here for the first four weeks. The thing you're gonna wanna keep up with is the bedding. And we'll talk about that in a second. The second thing to consider is gonna be the height of your brooder. We went with 24 inches on this brooder because chicks are gonna be testing out those new feathers they're growing. They're gonna be flapping and flying and trying to jump out whenever you try to go change their water or food. So the third thing to consider is going to be your flooring. And let me show you a little trick. When it comes to the flooring, what we really want to consider is if we we're going to leave this as just a plywood flooring, even with a fair amount of shavings, there's a good chance those chicks leaving their little deposits behind is going to leave that pretty nasty. Along with they have a tendency of dropping a little water. We have a tendency of dropping a little water. So we want to protect that. And the way that we're going to protect that is we're going to be using luxury vinyl plank flooring why is it called luxury vinyl plank flooring well it sounds really nice doesn't it it's pvc and what it does it's waterproof and will protect the bottom of that brooder from any of those droppings water and we're going to be able to keep that really clean and hygienical and perfect and we're excited so i've really got to put that flooring in because i'm running out of time today As we're finishing up this brooder build, the last two things that you should consider, and I'm sure there's several more, but the last two things that I can think of that are very important for your brooder build 
is going to be number four, you're going to need a good lid. So we used these door style lids with a mesh middle and that allows for airflow and protection because everything in the world likes a chicken nugget. The last thing that you need to consider when you make a brooder is what you're going to use for a heat source. Now we use an infrared brooder lamp and we've always had really good success with it. Uh, we make sure it's secure because if it falls, it could start a fire. So you want to be very careful with that and make sure it's secure. There's also these brooder plates that you can put that plug in and that heats a chick. We've never tried that. If you've had success with those in the past, go ahead and leave a comment below. We'd love to hear about your success stories with those. Short of that, it's time for us to move some chicks in here. Alright, we're all done. The chicks are nice and snug inside their new brooder and I even had time to get Courtney's step stool done. It wasn't quite as nice as what it could have been, but we kind of ran out of time. Maybe we'll make it nicer later on, but we really do appreciate you watching this video. If you like our content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the new videos we're posting. We've got some really exciting stuff coming down the pipe, so we want you to stay tuned and we'll see you on the next video.